Quarantine cam, day 34. Today it was a long ass day. As far as asses go, today was about as long as they come. There are so many places that we could go with that and let's just agree to not go any of them. Anyway, today was a very long day. I am not feeling entirely wordy and don't have a whole lot to say to the camera tonight, so I'll keep this brief. One reason that today's ass was long was definitely because I worked a 12 hour shift in the emergency department and it's in the middle of a pandemic and there's a lot of work to do and a lot of time on your feet and at the end of it you're tired and don't have a lot to say to a camera. Another thing that definitely contributed to the ass of the day being quite long was the fact that I forgot to bring my phone with me to work today. I know that I officially should not be really using my phone to help slow days pass, but there were definitely periods during today's shift where the time was lagging. There were spurts of activity and craziness, all the things that you'd expect in an emergency department sprinkled in here and there. It turns out that a shift like that takes about 14 times longer if you don't have a phone to check every once in a while. I had a couple breaks during the day and I legitimately got I got so bored after I'd eaten the food that I had to eat that I came back from break early because there was no one to talk to in the break room and no phone to scroll on. I'm not exactly proud of any of this, but it's a realization of how much I do rely on my phone. Maybe that's a habit that I should be curbing. Maybe I should leave my phone home on more work days. Anyway, either way, whatever went into it, it's been a long day. I don't have much to say to the camera and there's a loud Jeep turning on behind the camera that you can probably hear. I'm gonna go home and drink this uh, six pack of beer that was kindly donated because frontline healthcare worker and chill. I can't tell if my quarantine cams make all the people walking past uncomfortable or if that's all in my imagination.